and now Mr Hannan. And thank you for your kind words. Um, it is sometimes said that the European Commission is undemocratic in that none of its members is elected. But actually, I find it's rather more than that. Uniquely in the Western world, we've contrived a system which is anti-democratic in the sense that you generally have to have lost an election before you are appointed to the European Commission. If I think of the British appointees over the years, Chris Patton, Neil Kinnock, Peter Mandelson, it's only when they had been expressly elect rejected by their constituents that they were invited to come and legislate for them at European level. I think of the career uh, of our current uh, Euro British Commissioner, Baroness Ashton, who has never once in her entire life taken the trouble to present herself to her fellow countrymen and ask for their support in an election. She is a product of the British Quango state, having flitted from bureaucracy to bureaucracy, becoming an appointed peer, and then arriving here. Is it any wonder that a system based around this insulation from public opinion should be so contemptuous of democracy when, for example, a referendum goes the wrong way. 